Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome if you're new. Yes, I am in this like this big oversized t-shirt and my hair is now pink. But um and I'm down in the garage. You can kind of see my Monster High collection has gotten pretty big. I have a couple of uh Christmas decor that I want to show you in case you're on the lookout for them. Um and I don't want you to miss out. So I'm gonna start with first, oops, sorry guys, let me back now. I wasn't prepared, it came down here. Ooh, they are noisy. <laughs> I was able to find the bells at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I'm gonna, I'll get it closer. So these are the medium size and they were, $17.99, but I got them for half price because, as you know, Hobby Lobby's, or if you don't know, Hobby Lobby Christmas right now is 50% off. So I got these ones. I'm just going to kind of put them down here. I know they're making a lot of noise. And I'll tell you the story about those in a minute. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, for bending down. And then I got the large one. It's still got the so it's not going to bubble up. And this one was $15.99. Uh, what I like about these, kind of has like the fake, it looks like they've been like sewn together. Um, they're not really brassy and not really goldy because I'm not a big gold person, but it's got kind of a antique look to it and it's got a texture on them. So these are the ones from Hobby Lobby. You can find them though. I mean, you have to look. But everyone is selling bells right now. I just jumped on the the influencer social media, get them at Hobby Lobby bandwagon, and um, anyways, so these are the little ones. Same thing. So these were originally seven ninety nine, but again, they were fifty percent off. You can get the three in there. I'm probably gonna end up putting these on my ladder. You can see the video that I made myself a ladder. So I got all the bells from the, from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to tell you right now, guys, if you go to your Hobby Lobby and they say they are sold out, if you go to the craft area, they have some bells in the craft area that are are nice also. They had some bells um, just in general around the store. I'm going to put those down so I can pull off. And there was myself and another lady, we were looking for them and we kept looking and we looking. Look up. My Hobby Lobby had overstock throughout the whole store. So, like, every aisle had some overstock bins. And this lady and I were looking, yada, yada. I had gone to the register. I was ready to check out. And then she came to me. She was like, I found them. And she found them way over, like, in the just everyday decor up on a shelf. And um, that's basically those, those, there was, it was seven of them left or something like that and she got the one that she wanted i got the three i wanted then i found these i got three of these they are glass I'll get close to you guys and they've got a beautiful little like leather fake leather little strap here they were 9.99 of course 50 percent off and they're white with like a I don't know, it's got like a, a, it's kind of like an orange, but really it's more of a, a brown and neutral color. I love the top here. I got three, so I'm going to show you all three. But my, I'm not going to put these up. I'm going to put them in a bowl or in a basket, just kind of as decor like that. And these will probably be everyday decor for me, not just Christmas decor. So that is what I got from Hobby Lobby. Put those over there. Now. Right back. I'm going to get my Dollar Tree stuff. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. I should actually probably just flip you guys. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I've got, gosh, i got a lot of Hobby Lobby stuff. And this is more than one. First of all, I'm going to say right now. My Hobby Lobby falls. My Hobby Lobby stuff I'm going to be showing you all is more than one shopping trip. It's a combination of multiple shopping trips. First, I found these. 
And these were not in the Christmas section. So they're the, you know, the boxes in the plaid. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do with them, I got three. I was only going to get two and I thought, well, I'll grab the third one just in case. So I got three. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is turn them upside down. And then put a big, maybe burlap bow or something for, for you know, a fake present for decor. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's got the plaid there. I'm on, so I got those. Those are in the $1.25 section. And then what's in this one? Okay, in this one I got these. Oh, I didn't notice that the bottom's missing on this one. Oh, fudge. I got three of these light-up trees. I was in such a hurry. See, there's no batteries in them. You gotta put batteries in them. But I got the three light up trees. And there's a third one. I've noticed a lot. And that has fall off glitter. I wasn't gonna get them, but I really liked the iridescent look that it has to it. You know, it does not come up so great. But there is a really pretty iridescent look. And again, this is $1.25. I wanna get, I like the look that people are doing with the different size trees this year um i have to see what i ha i have to pull my stuff out and see what i got i grabbed these tags i thought they were cute kind of a you know a vintage kind of feel i don't know the christmas tree i just thought was adorable and then you got the gingerbread boy uh they had a lot they always dollar tree always when it comes to their gift tags always look, you guys look at this i'm like i'm shedding Glitter just from those. <laughs> and then I got this one here. Okay. I got these um, treat bags. And get it close so you guys can see. So it's got like the peppermint, the bake shop, the gingerbread. Um, I saw a lady, I'm thinking for journaling and for presents, but I also saw a lady, she was making candles, and she cut these labels kind of out and put the labels on each of the candle jars. I thought that was a cool idea. I also got the gold candlesticks. Uh, they were actually in pretty good shape, so I got the one. Sorry, guys, I'm in the garage. <laughs> so I got the one, kind of the larger one, and then the two smaller ones. And I'm going to put them, you know, some garland. I normally don't do gold, but, and I thought about painting these black. But I'm kind of okay with this gold. It's not a gold gold. I think a little bit of gold is okay. They don't actually are identical, but for $1.25, you really do have to check them. These are pretty heavy for $1.25. The black ones I've seen before, I haven't found any of the black ones that are nice there's always a chip or they're bent but these so actually so watch them these ones were actually pretty sturdy a lot better than the black ones and i'm going to keep them gold i'm going to live with them in the gold so i got those and then i got uh, and i've been looking at these for a while so these are the little bowls and um i actually was thinking today if you wanted, you could actually make bells out of them, even if you want to do something like that. If you want more of a, a, wick, a natural kind of look. But you could also even kind of maybe glue them together. If you want like a big, uh, again, if you do a lot more like the wicker. My Christmas is really the true Christmas colors. As I heard somebody say today, I want my house to look like a Hallmark movie. And that's what my house for Christmas is. Those are my Christmas colors. I'm true Christmas, green, red, whites, some black. I know black, but they're, those are more your neutrals. But if you got more of a neutral, more of a natural look, you could do something like this. Put a, a ribbon through the top, like hot glue them together, put a ribbon through the top, and you'd have a pretty nice ornament. But I'm using them because I need, I want to put the, Things in them. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, they're to put stuff in. And that for me again is everyday decor. And then I got this. 
this was three dollars and it reminds me i'm going to say it's a dupe for the pottery barn gingerbread set um i personally i was thinking you could take this off if you wanted and just put a big bow here if you don't want to use it you know as a as a soap dispenser but again this is three dollars it is ceramic it reminds me of the Pottery Barn ones. I like it because it's not covered in glitter, covered in all the different It's very neutral, very nice. It doesn't have anything on the back, but that's okay. Target Dollar Spot, I'm going to try to get there tomorrow, and I'll do a haul for y'all, or I'll do a, a shop with me. I'm not sure, depending on how busy it is. And um, they have gingerbread houses, again, kind of in the same look, like the Pottery Barn houses. So if you like the Pottery Barn look, see if you can find this at Dollar Tree. And I think they had some separate houses and mine didn't, but I was happy with, with finding this one here. So again, it is in the $3 section. It is a soap dispenser. I really did like this one. I just like that Pottery Barn look. I don't like the Pottery Barn price. <laughs> and then this was also in the plus section. And they have three different ones. They have the Santa Claus. I think they have a snowman, and then they had the vintage reindeer. So the countdown to Christmas, and it's got the blocks, and he was $3 in the plus section. It's got a little bit of the, this is actually like a um, real touch, actually. And I like how this is painted on. It's not a sticker. It's not a, a transfer, so I feel like that'll stay a lot better. You could even have wanted, if these weren't your colors, but these are my colors, I love the vintage reindeer look there. I love that this is kind of a 3D on the greenery there. And you can see it's like that real touch greenery. So it's for $3, y'all. I could see this at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, any of those going for at least $10. For three. And this is just, you know, um chipboard, like a chipboard. But these here the the blocks are real wood. And you got your countdown to Christmas. I love that. I'm hoping to get our Christmas stuff up this weekend. And then I got in here. I have, this is another, for me it's another dupe to Pottery Barn. This is, I've never used a tree skirt. And I'm hoping it'll fit because I just had the little four foot, you know, I have the Dollar Tree four foot trees that I've made into, you know, one big tree. Two of the four foot ones and this is um a dupe um not necessarily a dupe but pottery barn has a red tree skirt a uh, tree what are these collar tree collar and um i got this one for five dollars at dollar tree they did have a galvanized one i think that said christmas tree farm or something like that or no or it might have just been galvanized but i really because again my colors are the reds and all that so I wanted to go with the red, and since I saw that, I was trying to see what dupes I could find for Pottery Barn, and I saw that Pottery Barn, and some of the pictures had a red collar, so I got a red collar for $5, and it says it is 14 inches, so 35 by 5 centimeters. Um, before you buy, make sure your tree stand fits inside the opening of the tree collar. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But, um... I like that. It does come with the little uh, metal parts here so that you can slide them in together. So $5, first time I've ever used a tree collar. We'll see how that goes. And again, to me, it's a dupe for Pottery Barn's red one. And then my, I'm jumping on the bandwagon of the cranberries. So these were, I got three of them. They were in the three, they were $3 and it was nine feet. Now I did see another channel. I apologize. I, homemade, life is home. Home is life. I can't remember. She's in Kentucky. Love her. She, she's so cute. She has a lot of Dollar Tree decorating. Um, but she pulled these out and I'm not going to pull them out right now. They do shed. You can see here, you can see the crystals from the the cranberries. So I'm not going to take it out here. When I do open it, I'm going to kind of shake it and probably spray it with some hairspray. And hopefully that'll keep it from shedding more. And like I said, I got three packages of these. 
I don't know if I'm going to put them in the tree, if I'm going to put them around. I haven't got to that point yet. From exactly what I'm doing yet. This, y'all, if you have, if you're going to a Christmas party, a teacher, um, just somebody in your family likes to entertain, if you like to entertain, this was in the $5 section. There were three different ones. It is a cheese board. I got the Christmas tree. I got the Christmas tree. I can go ahead and take this because I'm keeping this. I'm not, oh well. So as you guys can see, it says believe. It says believe there. It is, um, it doesn't say what it's made of. But it just says cheese board with bonus spreader knife for $5. This is a great, and they also had like a Christmas ornament, like a round ornament. I think it's a Mary, and there may have been one, or maybe it's a Joy, and there may have been another one. But I like the tree. Um, oh, let's see, can I get it off? Let's see. No, I think we need scissors. Oh, guys. Oh, there you go. Can I see? Oh, there we go. All right. Yay, now I can show you. Okay. So you can kind of see it. So I think this would even be, like I said, if you have um, a Secret Santa gift you got to do um, at work or just any kind of Secret Santa. If you do it with your church group, if you do it with your book club, you know, meeting circle. So, okay. So there's... The knife has just like a little wood handle, but here's the board itself. I'll get a little closer for y'all. I'm really into the natural wood look this year. Um, I've got the Believe. And it's almost like if you if it was burnt in there, like wood burnt. I mean, it's not, but if it was burnt in there, wood. And it's just, I just like it just to sit out. If you put it on your countertops, which our countertops are like, there's just no room on our countertops. But if you had the room, um, if you just want to display it on a buffet, if you wanted to use it, I mean, you can use it. I just think this would be a great gift for a gift exchange for a boss, a teacher. And then this is a wood handle also, and it's green. And then it's got the little, oh, it's pretty sharp. I mean, for $5, guys, this is an awesome, 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 awesome gift. I do have planned, and I hope I can do it. I may go into Dollar Tree one night when it's like at midnight. Or our Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree. Walmart closes at 11 in our area ever since the pandemic. And um, maybe I'll go in there one night just before they close when it's not so busy. And maybe, because uh, I'd, I'd like to go in and do a, you know, where they have all like the prepackaged gifts. I'd like to do a shop with me on that to get, let you guys see what's out there. Now. I've been seeing these everywhere. I've been seeing them in Walmart, in the My Texas, the My Texas house and My Texas home. That collection, I love that collection. I love that collection. I love that collection. And you'll see what I've got from that collection when I do my Walmart haul. But um, I've just really been loving this look. And when I saw somebody haul these from Dollar Tree, I had to run to my Dollar Tree and I was like, please let them have it. <laughs> um, again, these are a dupe for, I'm going to say Hobby Lobby, Walmart, I'm sure Crate and Barrel, I'm sure anyone that sells these. You all, I got for $3. They are so soft. They are the white stockings. Now, they came in a gray they came in a red, and of course here in the white. I went with the white. I just, I guess I'm really liking whites. I'm really liking the wood and natural woods. So they do have the little pom pom on them. At three dollars, um, I couldn't pass it up. It, they're called the Lux stocking. It's a 21 inch, and I just fell in love with these. Um, I fell in love with the ones I saw at, at Walmart for it, Walmart. She has, they're so beautiful. Like it says, it's my Texas home or my Texas house is the um, collab. I think she's a YouTuber and it, I'm not sure if she does interior design or what, but she's got some gorgeous white stockings. But I think hers are $12. So to me, these are a dupe for anyone, any store that's selling the white kind of fur 
fake fur stocking, or is this called luck stocking? I got four of them. I still want to get for the animals some stockings too. I'm still, oh God, guys, this is so soft. Oh, these are so nice. I love these. I love these. I love these. This is probably one of my favorite dupes that I've gotten this year. So $3, run to your Dollar Tree if you like that luxury kind of look, but not that luxury kind of price tag. Um, and then I, what's in here? It's like I said, that these are a couple different, okay, this is when we were in Florida. So this is, has nothing to do with Christmas. I don't think so, let's see. When we were in Florida, we went to a Dollar Tree in Florida, and boy, they bagged this one up good. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. I think there's all kinds of... Oh, okay, there are some Christmas things in here. All right. So I got some more tags. I got these when I was in Florida. So I got these gift tags. Oh, no, I'm not liking them as much as I did before. This is like a golden green... I was, think I was looking at more for journaling than for actually using. <laughs> I did get these gift bags because I really like the, they came three, yeah, three. Three? No, two. I just really like this one with the ice skate. And then it's got the, this one says a winter wonderland. It's got, I just like the green and the brown. Got that like I said that natural wood look this one I wasn't so much with let it snow because it got that glitter but I really like this one here um all is calm all is bright and again I think I'm just looking at these more for journaling than for um presents I did grab these bows and again journaling wise but it could be presents could be on your tree uh, got the Thanksgiving kind of this was before I took my break from whatnot y'all so I was like oh yeah I'm gonna do journals <laughs> and then I got the the buffalo check so these I'll probably end up tying on my tree because these are the colors on my tree buffalo check I'm still on the buffalo check land bagging I did get these um, I think they're adorable. You can put them on. They're this, I like these better than the ones at Walmart. Um, I, again, this, you could put on a present. You could put them on your tree. My, uh, company, we used to do, like, ugly Christmas ornaments. And last year, what I ended up doing, since we don't go in the office anymore, I ended up getting small ones like those and mailing them to everybody in their, in a Christmas card. I got these for the dollhouse. Um, they're a little like gingerbread. They look like they're on cookie sheets. So I thought that would be cute for my Christmas. When I finally decorate for Christmas, like in the kitchen. A little closer. Sorry for the glare, guys. So this is Dollar Tree. So this is a dollar twenty-five. I thought those were cute, and those are wood or chipboard wood. Um, there's just candy in here. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Oh, got a magnet. <laughs> You are magical. I don't remember what I bought, guys. So I was just talking. This is a month ago. <laughs> I'm just haven't really been up to going through stuff. See, I got oh, this is for Cassie. I'll have to send it to her. She likes these fruit fruit. They're called fruities. It's like a tootsie roll, but it's fruit. She likes those. What else did I get? I got these to go for, oh, oh. We got some frogs. Harry bow gummy frogs. I got these to get, oh. Mini blow pop suckers. I thought those were cute. Because I like the blow pops. But they're just so big. I like that those are small. <laughs> and then we got, oh. Sour candy pop rocks or popping candy. This one is green apple, watermelon, blue raspberry. They're both the same. Sabrina likes those. Let's see. Oh, and then we got the Kool-Aid one. And the Kool-Aid is Scary Berry. 
I don't know if they'll still have these because like I said, guys, these were Halloween time. It was the beginning of October. And I got some of these, I'm thinking for um, shaker cards to send out this year. So I got some little green and red sequins. I wonder how hot it is in this garage. More popping candy. <laughs> how much popping candy did I get? Oh, I got the wood Christmas trees. Put on my tree. I'm not, again, I'm not going to color them. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to keep them just like that. I like that natural wood look. I'm kind of glad I'm going through here because I almost bought some of this stuff. Oh, I picked up this metal ribbon. Um, I'm not sure what to do with it, but it was interesting. And I've seen it before. Sorry, guys. I, I keep cutting my head off. <laughs> and I got another one of the, of the metal ribbon. I got a different design. Mm. Oh, I got these. This is nothing new. Dollar Tree's had them before. Sorry, y'all. We saw a picture frame at Universal where it's like they had Dr. Seuss books stacked on the picture frame. And I was like, oh, we can make that with the Dr. Seuss books from Erasers from Dollar Tree. So when I go and do that, I'll let you guys see it when I'm done. <laughs> and then I got um, just car air fresheners. And I got more snowflakes for shaker cards. Gotta get those together. And I got little gingerbread, little wood gingerbread. Again, I was thinking for the dollhouse. I think that's it, y'all. Give me one second. Let me take a look and pause ya. Okay, last little bit. I'll hang it here first. I did get the small, the $5 little heater. They had these last year, little heater fireplaces. It just takes the, um, I think it's two AA batteries. But again, I was thinking the dollhouse for the living room for Christmas. So that's why I picked that up. It is plastic. Such a good... I wasn't, when I first saw the bells, I wasn't sure if I was going to find bells. So I got these three planters from Dollar Tree and I was going to make bells out of them. But then I found my bells. So I probably will use these for actual planters. Not sure yet, but they will definitely get used. And then I found these. Reindeers are all the rage this Christmas too. It's reindeers and bells. Everyone's got reindeers and with the bells. But I saw these at Dollar Tree. They were not in the Christmas section. They were by the candles, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick these up. I wasn't sure what I thought about them. They're very primitive, kind of like the um, Pottery Barn reindeers. The Pottery Barn reindeer is very primitive kind of reindeer. Um, but they're just tea light holders. And a very primitive looking reindeer. So this one is in the gold. And... I make sure if it wasn't bending, but it's like a tin. So I got the gold one. They had one silver. Yeah. I got the silver one. And I got the other and another gold one. And I did that because I thought, okay, I could do like, you know, like this, something like this. But now I want to make some stocking holders. So I might use these for the stocking holder. Don't know yet. I'll let y'all know when I get there. But they look like, especially this one, doesn't it look like it was made from paper clips? He, and they are, they're not flimsy at all. So for $1.25, if you like more of that kind of primitive kind of, you know, minimalistic reindeer look, I, I would go for, see if you can find these. And you can paint them any color to match your color scheme. I think that's it. I think those are it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, um, first Christmas haul, uh, decor haul for 2023. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Think. Oh, no, wait. I take that back really quick, guys. I did get um, the tapered glitter candles, and they're the red to go with the gold candle holder. I got three of them. 
And then I got, I don't know why I got eyelashes. Guys, I have no idea why there's eyelashes in the bag. <laughs> and then, um, oh, and I got this, um, pomegranate and gingerbread mousse, pomegranate and cypress gingerbread mousse, uh, wax melts. I want to make some candles with these. So anyways, all again, love y'all. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, I'm not going to promise I'll do Vlogmas. I've got some videos out I want to do. Uh, I'm not making any promises because you guys know I'm trying to pull back on a few things, which I have. Thank goodness. I'm feeling a little better mentally. Counseling's really helping. If you need it, do not be afraid to ask for it all. So anyways, love yourself. I love you. I think of you guys often. I hope you're all doing well. If it's snowing where you are, be careful. If it's hot where you are, please drink your water. And I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, everybody.